Hey everyone, this is Alan from BMW Mini Durham back again with another video. We have another new arrival. It's the 2025 Mini Countryman S in British Racing Green with vintage brown interior. All right, so this is the 2025 Mini Countryman S in British Racing Green 4. And uh, this is the favored style. So this is as well equipped as the Countryman S comes before we go up to JCW. And I'm just gonna do a lap all the way around the car first. And then we can take a look at all the details. So this is British Racing Green 4 and we have that power dome on the hood there. I think that's pretty awesome. And we have the mini badge here and we've got this new trim that is uh, the top trim this uh, silver and we've got this the stripes going across the grill big red S badging over here and we got some more of the silver trim down here at the bottom as well new headlight design is pretty awesome there's a couple of different configurations you can do with the headlights which is pretty cool and I'm just going to go ahead and hit the uh, pathway lighting on so you can see what the low beams would look like. And then on the side here, if we come around, we've got more of those lines going across on the over fender. And these are the 19 inch kaleidoscope wheels in two tone. So I think this wheel will look really good in motion. It actually looks like it's in motion when it's not in motion. And then we've got the uh, accent down here on the rocker panel we've got the new bmw uh, handles which you've seen on two series new four series or sorry four series grand coupe we've got a body line here that kind of swoops down and across underneath the door here black side mirrors black window surrounds black roof rails with a panoramic roof on the top and we've got the new style antenna here we've got this designation here for all four countrymen there's that rear 19 inch kaleidoscope wheel and the back here we've got the spoiler quite aggressive and we've got the rear tail lights let me get those on for you so a bit of a welcoming animation which is pretty cool to get into that and now it looks like a union jack so again just like the headlights the tail lights also have three configurations we have the vertical uh, reflectors on the back here and more of that uh, silver trim at the bottom and just so you guys can see there's an exhaust pipe there and another one on the other side so it is a dual exhaust but you just can't see it and what I'm gonna do next so here's the key there's a tailgate button on the side of the key that's the new mini key looks pretty good I'm just gonna kick my foot underneath the middle of the car so we can get this to open up hands-free so the spacing here is pretty well the same as the U11X1 Cargo cover has two strings that you can remove in order to get this cargo cover out of here. It's got a cool little design on the top here as well. And underneath here we have a grocery bag hanger on each side. There's a 12 volt plug and a plastic storage bin. And then a little area on the side here. So let me lift this up. So under here, these are the carpeted floor mats. But this car comes with a spare tire, a jack, wheel lock keys, tow hook and all the tools necessary to replace the tire and I'll put that back down we do have buttons up top to close and close and lock but I'm gonna go ahead and kick my foot underneath the middle of the car and we'll get this to close the hands free way perfect now the fuel cap doors on the passenger side connected to the central locking system we're looking for 91 octane there's a little spot here to put this while you're fueling up and it's just clockwise one click to close and now let me just open up that back door so inside the back here this is the vintage brown interior and we do have your door handle here we have window switch and a little storage pocket as well as some more storage at the bottom so in the back seating area we have all three headrests able to flip up uh, if nobody's sitting here, then you can flip them back down. Armrests in the center here, cup holders. 
nice stitching, nice little mini design here on the in this interesting patterned uh, patterned piping. And up top, we do have the center passenger seatbelt coming down, so that can be released by pressing this red button right here. And then we have a string here, a string there, and another string over here. So that will allow us to fold down the seats in a 40-20-40 split. But again, I just wanted to show you one, two, three positions for recline for all three seats there. And up top, we have the panoramic uh, sunroof. We do have some handles here with lights and coat hanger. On the back of each front seat, we do have some pockets as well as some vents on the back of the center console with two USB Type-C charging ports. Another little storage area at the bottom, more vents down here, and interesting little pattern on the back of the front seats here as well. Let's open up the front door next. So this time around, we get a welcome light on the passenger side as well, and we do have comfort access on both front door handles. So once I open the door, you can see that vintage brown kind of morphing into blue, and then we've got blue dash here. We've got some of the ambient lights coming up on here. They were, they're projecting from that little spot over there, just like that. And we've got a bit more of that pattern going across on the dash here. There's the head-up display. There's the OLED circular display. And we've got the interesting control panel down here. New vent switches, so close, open, direct. Large glove box. And let's take a look at these beautiful vintage brown seats. So very heavily bolstered, powered. And in the center here, you got your wireless charger with the uh, vent. And we've got a little storage space, cup holders. And then we've got this little box we can keep things in that you don't want visible. Another little storage area, two USB Type-C charging ports, 12 volt plug. This does not open, but in the Countryman it can slide forwards and backwards. Let's open the door on the driver's side next. So there's that mini welcome light on the driver's side. And again, we've got comfort access on the front door. Windows were just tinted, so we're not rolling down the windows, but underneath here, all four window controls. There's a button there that makes it so only the driver controls the windows, which I think is probably a good idea for now. Side mirror controls. Passenger side mirror does tilt down in reverse while this is selected on the driver's side. Unlock lock. Tailgate release, you can pull and hold this while the key is inside to close the tailgate as well. Driver's side has lumbar and memory, so that's awesome. This car also has massage chairs, which is pretty, pretty sweet. There's the new mini steering wheel. It's an interesting three-spoke design. And we have on your signal stock, signal still blink three times, but we've got the lighting controls on the signal stock, exterior lighting menu button here for all the other options, an off button. And um, I'm just gonna grab a seat in here for a second. So once we get in here, there's your head-up display. And up top, we are, let me just get that sunshade open. So a huge panoramic opening up top. We also have the black roof liner, which looks really good. And now that we're in here, there's that circular display. So um, you can get, uh, this one currently has just regular cruise control, but if I go into driving settings, right, so just regular cruise control. But if I head on over to the Mini Connected store, you get a trial of Mini Connected Plus. It's $12.99 a month. You get it for three months once you pick up the car. But uh, if you do want to subscribe to that, it will give you a chance for games in the car. You can have a navigation point or GPS points for your window to go down. You can get Spike and you can get, it says Mini Navigation Upgrade. So I think that might be the AR navigation that you'd be gaining from that versus just regular navigation. So this is a really nice to have package, but I don't know if it's a must have, but for some it may be. So that's pretty cool. Uh, this is also the first time the Minis get uh, all the safety features such as uh, blind spot detection, that little triangle on the side mirror. We also have uh, all the self parking stuff in this car which wasn't previously available in Minis. So if I just hit that park assist button, so the car has the ability to self park um, where it wasn't this sophisticated before. And uh, we also have, let's take a look under the hood. 
We have an upgraded power plant. So it's just down here, two poles, one, two. So when we arrive to the front, we don't have to find anything here. We just simply lift this up. And there it is, the beautiful B48, two liter inline four twin power turbo. And we're producing 241 horsepower, 295 foot pounds of torque. We have positive battery terminal. We have negative battery terminal here. We have washer fluid here. And we've got the strut bar here for rigidity. So that is pretty awesome. All right, so we're gonna do one more lap all the way around the car before we conclude the video. I'm gonna try and give you some of the angles. It does look really nice. The technology has finally caught up now in these vehicles. And ultimately, I think uh, Mini is evolving in the right direction, especially with this Countryman model. I think it looks great. It's like a Mini Defender, if you ask me. All right, everyone, so that was my tour of this beautiful 2025 Mini Countryman S in British Racing Green 4 with the vintage brown interior and the kaleidoscope wheels. Let me know what you think about these, uh, the spec in the comments below. If you like the car, if you like the video, if you like me, make sure you like, share, and subscribe. I'll put that pricing information in the description below. Uh, please follow me on Instagram. It's at Alan BMW Durham. We'll see you on the next video. Thank you so much for watching.